Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can start a job in the classic folder uh, through an API call via Postman. So before to before I do that, let me just run a small demo and show you how we can actually see the output. Okay. And also how you can do this process by your own by end of this video. So the first and the foremost thing, so this is my particular process that I have deployed, uh, which I have shown you clearly in the previous videos. So I'm going to start this process. I have my robot here. I'm going to start. So just go into the jobs and monitor. The process is running. Just go to view logs and see what's exactly happening. So I just had one log in my main file, which states testing the orchestrator API. So the process started and the uh, process got executed and the process got stopped. So this is what we are going to see uh, how we can do it through an API. Okay, so before to that, if you are here on my channel for the first time, I would suggest you in order to get a complete understanding of this API calls, go back to my channel and search for orchestrator API postman playlist. So here on, on my channel, you can find all these playlists, which will give you enough understanding to go to the next step and do all the orchestrator API calls using postman. So if you want, I can leave this link over in the description so you can just directly check it out from that link. Having said that, um, so in this uh, video, uh, I'm going to create and uh, start a job from the classic folder. So for that, let's go and create a request. So we all know we were referring to the uh, UiPath connector guide. So let me go to the connector guide. So under classic folder, I am in the start process. So this is a post request. So firstly, I'm going to change this into a post request. And what is the URL that I should be using? Okay, come here. Hmm. So this is my URL, right? So just go to your postman and give the URL. And we all were saying we are changing this with our particular tenant. So change this, the tenant, we are good with this part, right? So after that, what is the next thing that we have to do? Before to this, I just wanted to tell something which is very important. So in your orchestrator, make sure the first and the foremost checkpoint that you have to consider is that the type of your robot that you are using, okay? So it should it supports only certain types of robots. It don't support attended robot. Okay. So make sure that the type of the robot, which I have explained in the previous video, should be either of these unattended non-production or development robots. Okay. And also the license should be allocated. So if you could able to run the process from your orchestrator manually, then definitely you can do it through an API call. If you cannot do that, if your robot is in unavailable status or if it's not a one that is supported and if you don't have a license, runtime license, then definitely you cannot uh, do it either of the ways, either through orchestrator, that means through manually or uh, through orchestrator API calls. Okay, so that's first and the foremost thing you have to consider before doing the API calls. Okay, so just check it on your end. Uh, if you want, I just showed you here. So if you could able to start the job uh, from here, or if you could schedule the job, then definitely you should be able to do it through API. So after that is done, what is the next thing? Authorization, right? So what was the authorization that we were using? Barrier token. So take the barrier token and I'm having it in the same collection. So it's been auto generated. And if you don't know how to do that, again, the same thing, go check it out the videos. You will be clear with that thing. And the next thing is headers. So let's go to the postman, uh, to the connector guide. And I wanted to, so connect content type is fine. Uh, it still works even if you don't give. So I'm going to give uh, organization unit ID. So what is the thing that we were giving that particular folder ID, right? So we got the folder ID from the previous request. Uh, so I am going to perform it in the classic folder. So what's the name of my classic folder? That is default, right? 
so this is default so i'm going to get the id of my classic folder so just copy this go to your request paste it over here done and the tenant name i'm not going to provide the tenant name because i have already provided it over here cloud tenant so i'm not going to provide this so uh, i'm done with authorization and headers the next thing is body so just copy the body go to the body and then here stuff type raw and of type json just paste it here comes the main thing and the uh, the ones that we have uh, run the request on for getting the environment for getting the processes for getting the robots so whatever the output that we have retrieved we have to use those uh, values in this particular body only then this process will run and start that particular job okay so what is the release key if you observe i told in the previous video copy the release key right just copy this one so from where exactly i got it get releases here i have got it after getting the releases this is my process that i wanted to run right classic process api so get that release key and paste it over here after that the strategy will be specific all the time for the classic folder and the robot ids so go to get robot so we have run a request for getting the robots associated in the classical classic folder right so in this um, you will be getting one id here at the end of this if you want you can just check if the robot is still the same for what you are referring to so get this particular id go to your post request and then paste it over here and uh, remaining everything uh, remaining all the factors remains the same and input arguments i'm not using any input arguments to my process is just a simple process with the log so i don't have to provide anything over here so that's it about the body next what is the other thing that we have to provide that's it right we've provided the endpoint url authorization headers and the body so once after this is done this is the example response that we should be getting after executing this particular api call so just go over here click on send so if you see 201 created that means our process should be running go to orchestrator go to the jobs and if you see a few seconds ago the process has finished the execution so let's monitor this again and i'm gonna come to my postman so i'm gonna start this job so just come here if you see it has run successfully so this is how you can actually see the process i mean you can create the process as this process is very small like i just have only log we don't have you know uh, much uh, time so that we can observe so this is how you can start the job or run the process by using orchestrator api by a postman so we have seen till now um let me come here so we have seen how to get the folders and we have used the ids to get the environments and we have get all the processes by using those ids and we have got the robot and we have started the processes so we have seen everything about what how what and how we can do in the classic folder and besides that we have also seen what are the prerequisites and the licenses everything that needs to be um, worked as a prerequisite to get this process going right so that's all about a uh, classic folder so in the next video i'm going to talk completely about the modern folder because it's pretty much the same but some things will change here and there because of the design that we have in the orchestrator between classic and the modern so i will become uh, you know focusing everything about the modern folder in a single video so i will be uploading the video tomorrow and uh, if you wanted to watch it instantly after i update uh, upload do hit the notification bell and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like the video and if you wanted to learn more do give uh, me your feedback on the comments and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the videos